We are here on the Motorex stand at the A&B exhibition to find out all about the new and upgraded unit from the one we actually interviewed Adrian on two years ago. Now, Adrian, before we get into the fluid links, can you give us a little bit of a background on who you are and what you do here at Motorex? Hi, it's a pleasure again. Mm -hmm. My name is Adrian, I'm from Motorex and I'm responsible for applications and uh, my target is to do our fluids who are good even better with equipment. So that means we hold them in a certain level and we did quite an effort in the last two years. <laughs> so what's new about this unit? Because this is your project, you love this. Yeah, that is my one, that's true. <laughs> Not only my one, my team <laughs> together with me invented that it is from scratch made. So we learned five years from the old versions and also we built something who is exceptional for the future, you know. So it looks black, it looks a little bit different, but that is not the case. So uh, we made a couple of studies together with really clever guys and uh, we have a bachelor's thesis who checked all the mixing devices uh, you get in the market. And out of that, we built this one. So what's different between this one and others on the market? To bring it uh, to the point, to put uh, it in a nutshell, it is just better mixing, you know? So I was not expecting to do it better from my long experience, but it is possible and uh, we made it here, you know? So what's the difference? So with this unit, obviously we'll move down slightly. Yeah. You have the traffic light system. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. what does this system do and where do them boxes actually lie in a machine shop? Yeah. That's the most important point, you know, we have to have the operator also with us, you know, that means if it is traffic light, green, as we are, <laughs> yellow and red, you know, so you know exactly what's going to happen on your machine tool when it comes to cutting fluids, you know. So if it is green in the morning, everything will be fine, you know. If you have to look here on the red color, it's not the best version you have that you can have, you know. So obviously this box is attached to the machine, yeah. but do I program it through this box or is it all programmed through the master? You can do as you want. In the beginning, our team is doing it. Our service team programs it for you. And when you are staying on your machine, it is possible on a Monday you have a aluminum to machine, you know. And on Friday, you want to go for stainless steel. Just push here the buttons, bring it up to a level and slowly it will increase in concentration which is really a perfect story. When you go down then on Monday with your aluminum, so just push the button, minus, and then it goes down. Now what so easy it is. But what happens if I've got different machines yeah. that have different concentrations? Can I have different ones of these on different machines but all run through the same master? You can do that perfectly because this can do 16 machines, all on different concentration if you want and very, very accurate. That is the second learning we have from this unit over there, you know. So you can have 5%, you can 15, everything you want, you know. Just program it, tell your machine what you want to have, and that is perfect, done then. Now, Automated. Now there's one thing I want to ask you, yeah. and you told me this earlier and I loved it. Why don't, you don't use Bluetooth for this though. Exactly. It's got to be cabled in. Yeah, exactly. Because, so, but you don't trust Bluetooth. I trust Bluetooth, but I also trust uh, wireless communication. But in industrial application, mostly you need electricity, you know? And electricity has the nice part. You can do also colors. It's not consuming somewhere some electricity. It's doing it in the box. So why are you going wireless when you can do it proper? Now, obviously, we've talked about your mixing units. Yeah. Now, if we just head down, because we've actually got a second set to this yeah, interview. Good, we don't normally good. have. Yeah. So what are we looking at here and how does that help a customer? Yeah. So just building a mixing device is not really a huge target, you know. So we have uh, really built something who is able to control nearly every type of additional equipment, you know, which is here a simple band skimmer, you know. You just have here two plugs. It's like in a network. You just say start, stop. You say which temperature, how much rotation, how fast it should run on weekends, on Monday, in the night, whatever you want. You just program it once, it's done. But why would a customer use a skimmer? Because 
there's not many machine shops out there that actually run skimmers, but they have real big advantages. Yeah. I don't understand why they not use a skimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it's getting with newer machines less problem with uh, tramp oil, you know. But uh, in the old times, or also on turning machines, you have always the tramp oil. The tramp oil is sitting on top of your coolant, and uh, the bacteria, they love that, you know. There are 1,500 calories in one liter oil, so it's perfect for us too, you know. So also the bacteria love it. So get rid of that. You not have nasty smell, rancid stuff. It's not going to happen, you know. Just give me a little bit into MotorX because you guys actually have a coolant solution for any problem so that your customers don't have to go to a variety of suppliers. They can get everything from you guys. Yeah. So uh, as it is written also on our booth, it is automated fluid management, but it's also customized fluid management. So not each customer has to use exactly the same equipment and uh, the units as well, you know. It depends what size of unit and what size of customer you have, you know. So uh, big tanks also for centralized system, which work perfectly with the solution over there, uh, has a different need than small machines, small metalworking fluid tanks and uh, with all the impact they get, you know. Do you think this should be a solution that everybody in the future will do? Everybody will talk about automated fluid solutions. Yeah, I hope that and uh, I'm quite sure it is uh, nearly the same that in the car, you know. You had a big map to follow your road, you know, to find it, you know, and today no one is talking about that anymore, you know. And I hope in fluid management cases it will be the same in a couple of years. Maybe I'm then retired, but uh, you know. I hope the not. Target. I that's hope not because I'm not getting to interview you if you're retired. <laughs>